Is this the kind of guy you want to see leading our great dominion, Sheila? Well, that's the thing. People say, well, who cares about Patrick Brown? I care because he wants to be the prime minister. And I care because he's a liar. That's yeah. why I care. And he expects conservatives to set aside everything that they know about his history over, I mean, over forever, but especially the last two years, when he gets up on a podium at his campaign launch and brags about how he was an anti-lockdown mayor. And when COVID lockdowns threatened the freedoms of families and businesses and the mental health of Canadians, I was one of the only big city mayors to speak out and demand an end to restrictions. When we have documents proving that he was willing to spare no cost to enforce his lockdown, and he enforced it. I think the worst part of all of this is he took out his lockdown hysteria on Brampton's children. Yeah. As a mother, that's the part that bothers me the most, was the enforcement on the playgrounds, the enforcement at the soccer fields, at the soccer center, that he was chaining up the playgrounds, sending guards, like you said, to the tune of 55 to 65 bucks an hour to make sure that no little kids got the wrong idea. But there were other things that were so atrocious that he was doing, or so uh, actually to use the language of the bureaucrats who saw the bills coming in from Paladin Security, exorbitant. Uh, Patrick Brown was so exorbitant in his enforcement that he was sending security guards to the municipal cemetery Ugh. to make sure that social distancing was enforced during uh, funerals. He was also, much like Toronto Mayor's John Tory, sending people to make sure that nobody was standing too closely outside at the Brampton Parks when the trees were blooming and he was worried that people were going to come out and stand too close and take pictures um, and maybe, I don't know, sniff too close to each other to sniff the blossoms or whatever tree lookers do. I mean, he was just so concerned about enforcing the lockdown that he was willing to spend whatever it took. And in the end, the bill was 12.1, I think, a million dollars yeah. of Brampton tax dollars to punish citizens who just wanted to live a little bit outside. You know, and Sheila, here's the thing. I mean, some apologists of uh, Patrick Brown will say, well, these were little things in the grand scheme of things. Uh, these were temporary things. But I say, no, it speaks to character. And it's yep. not so much that you shut down all these playgrounds and uh, uh, flower gardens and what have you, Sheila, but... The fact that you would go before a crowd announcing your yes. uh, quest for uh, Conservative Party leader and completely 100 percent lie about your record. Because, Sheila, I swear, I don't think there was more of a pro lockdown mayor in all of Canada than Patrick Brown. Yeah, that's my problem here. A lot of people didn't know much about the coronavirus pandemic in the early days. So naturally, people overreacted. Yep. But that's not what Patrick Brown is saying here. Yep. And even when more information came in, he continued to overreact with enforcing the lockdown outside at the playgrounds and at the dog parks. He sent people to the dog park to make sure, I don't know, dog owners were social distancing outside again at the dog park. It's the lying. It's the trying to rebrand himself, even though an entire city lived in a police state enforced by Patrick Brown using outside security because the city didn't even have the resources to do the things that Patrick Brown wanted to do to the residents of Brampton. And secondarily, it goes to a history of lying. Yeah. Because now we're not only lying about how we treated the pandemic. He's trying to say that he was, you know, this beacon of anti-lockdownism municipally when all the other mayors in the country were <laughs> so hard locked down. Um, a lot of mayors, I think, would, ha uh, would have balked at just how uh, pro-lockdown Patrick Brown was. But it's the history of lying. Because when you caught him at that hockey arena yeah. with his hockey bag and all of his hockey buddies... Because he was definitely 100% going in to play shinny hockey, even though he was banning the kids of Brampton from playing hockey. They could only practice. Again, follow the science, they tell me. I don't know what the difference is there. I guess coronavirus jumps out and strangles your grandma when you keep score. But anyway, he lied through his teeth and said, oh, I'm just there to inspect the ice surface. 
with yeah. his hockey bag and all of his buddies caught on camera lying, 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 and he still continues to lie. So yeah, this is a character problem. Hey folks, that was an excerpt from my show, Rebel Roundup. Now to get the full meal deal, why not go to Rebel News Plus, sign up, and never miss a Rebel News Plus show in the future.